Morning Ollie Polly, you ready for another fun day? Today is my first day vlogging after coming back from Miami. Miami has been crazy. I still got to do a few more Miami vlogs at the time recording this, but I've got so much stuff in the flat again. I've got so much fun stuff that I want to share with you guys. Little Ollie Polly's about to jump down there, he's making the leap of faith from my desk. I have, as always, to start off the day, a beautiful, massive smoothie. So guys, we're excited for another vlog here. Give it a big fat thumbs up. Let's have an awesome day and do this. So the weekend just gone was Easter weekend. I had a nice Nice chilled weekend with Claire, it was awesome, but this is the selection of some of the Easter eggs we got. Actually, that one hasn't been opened, that one, that one, that one, that one, none of them have been opened. So this is the thing, right? I don't really have a sweet tooth, like, uh, you could leave chocolate out in front of me and be like, oh, whatever, I don't, don't need to eat it. So, honestly, my Easter eggs normally take months and months to eat, so don't be surprised if you see these Easter eggs lying around the flat, like, still in vlogs in the future. But, on top of that, you may notice this brand new hat. Huge shout out to my brother, because he hooked me up, baby. So, brother's currently out in Amsterdam. I'm working uh, for Nike Golf, absolutely smashing it. Uh, and he got me for Easter, he got me this awesome blue Nike snapback. Also, got me a brand new black, fresh pair of Nike washes. I really need these. I lost my other ones, I can't remember what happened to them. They're, they're gone, but he got me new ones. And, you may have seen this one in a main channel video. He got me this very smart black and grey Nike snapback. A little Darcy's absolutely passed out on my desk. Ollie Polly's been demoted to the chair. <laughs> Most of my day so far today has been editing this Doom footage, baby. I went to London about a week ago to record some early gameplay. I did vlog it, but the vlogs for the main channel, that's why none of it would have been on this channel. So as soon as I'm done editing this, I'm gonna hit the gym, baby. I've also got some packages, some big packages that have arrived that have been sat in the flat for like a week that I need to show you guys. Yo, I completely forgot that this happened the other day. So uh, obviously I had tons, I'll show you guys, tons of these packs, these Pokemon packs. I've been opening, trying to opening it like every vlog, two packs at a time. So this big deck of cards came with, I think, 36 packs. It would have taken about 18 vlogs to open up all of them. But as you can see, they're all open. Open. So that means Ali's being a naughty boy and he's gone and opened all of them up. I'm not filming it, I apologize, but Claire and I were lying in bed one day and we were just like super chilled. Saw the cards and all the packs that have a corner of our eye. We're like, let's open a few. We opened a few, we opened up more, we opened up more, we opened up more. But after getting through all of them, I'd say 98% of all the cards were rubbish. So it would've, it, they would have been annoying to open it up in every vlog because it would have been disappointing every time. But eventually it has happened. The Pokemon wall has been updated and look what's been added, baby. That that is right, my friends. Right here is Mega Gengar EX. We've now got Ghastly, Haunter, we've got Hollow Gengar, we got Gengar EX, and Mega Gengar EX. It was that's the one card I wanted to get out of all the packs. I'm so happy I got it. I also updated the wall, so all the Pikachus are now linked together. We've got all at the top here, we now have. Um, Gardevoir and Glade EX next to each other. We've got all of the Blastoise Evolution next to each other. And I put up the massive, massive Mega Charizard EX up in the corner as well. So we just got, I put, I'd say we've got to fill that bit and then fill one of the top lines and then this wall will look, and it already does look absolutely sick. Actually, just saying that, I've just realized, I just checked the shelf. I've actually found these old cards back when I went home to visit my parents in my old room. And I've, I got all these pieces of blue tech out, started to like get all the cards ready and I never put them up. So we have cards to fill. Yo, I completely forgot about this. So my favorite sweets in the world are uh, round tree fruit random. These things are so nice. And I found one of these Easter eggs in Waitrose and then didn't get it for Easter day. I was like, no, nobody got me one. Went back into Waitrose after Easter and I found one and I ate it all. <laughs> Do you wish it was just like a device that would tell you where everything is you've ever bought? Like I'm looking for headphones right now. I can't find, I literally had them yesterday when I was a kid. I used to imagine and like pretend that I'd make this machine that would like scan. For example, like scan, it's just kind of a rubbish object, but let's say it scanned this view, this is the object that wants to always know where it is, and then it would send out pulses into like, I don't know, maybe like on a half mile circumference around you, and if it can find the item you'd originally scanned, then you, it would tell you where it is. Obviously like, there's a million like egg boxes in the world, it wouldn't really work very well, but maybe just keys or something like that, I don't know, this is an idea I had as a kid. I wish it worked right now because I can't freaking find anything. Today my gym gear is literally all black. Thanks bro for the new shoes again. And these bad boys, trust me, these are going to get used this week. Let's take a look outside. It's such a nice day today. Actually, I say that, it is a nice day. If you look up, it's actually really, really cloudy. But it just feels like a spring or a summer day. And you forget how dull and boring it is during the winter when just like the weather's terrible. I found my headphones by the way, so we're all good. We're going to smash the gym, have a good session, and uh, let's play some bangers, boys. So one thing I talked about a little bit in my last vlog, 
vlog from the flat was maybe doing a day in the work life valier. Work has been of course all the YouTube stuff I get up to because normally my vlogs are everything outside of the work stuff in between the little bits that I film and you guys sounded really interested in it, really wanted to know everything I get up to, how I make thumbnails, how I edit and all that good stuff, my scheduling so expect that soon guys. So these traffic lights here I have to wait every single time I go to the gym at. They've been here for months and months and months. I, I literally cannot wait for the day where these traffic lights are gone. <gasps> please, please hurry up workers. So I tweeted this song out the other day but it's not actually been fully released and it got taken down on YouTube, but I found it on SoundCloud. Take a listen to this. Rips out, drop that low. See all these cars right there, all those McLarens. I may be doing some filming of those McLarens at some point, maybe next month in May, so look out for that. I'm super pumped, baby. There's tons of nice car garages around where my flat is. I'm, I'm really, really fortunate, so if I get a chance to drive any of these cars, I'm down, I'm down. Smash the gym session. It was really good. I love getting back in the gym. I hate being inconsistent. Something, the gym is something you need to do just like almost daily or every bi daily if you really want to stick at it, but look, look what's happened. We're stuck in the freaking traffic jam again. I hate this. The cutest golden retriever ever just went past. I really want one. I, I really want a golden retriever puppy. Like, that is my go dog goals, to be honest with you. It'll happen one day. It'll happen one day when I've got a bit more time, when I've got like, my own house, the garden. Golden retriever puppy! Okay, this is ki kind of weird, but I, I really don't even care. Like, look at this stick I found while driving in. It's like literally, actually, let me, sh let me show you properly. This is the ideal slingshot stick. What we're going to do is attach an elastic band to that bit and that bit, and pow, pow, pow. So I do actually have an elastic band inside, and one day I shall come out and I shall use it, and it shall be the best slingshot ever. <laughs> Hey babies, I honestly don't think you've moved at all since I've left the gym. I've been working out for an hour. You've been little cutie bums just lying there. Look at Darcy, trying to hold, hide your face, aren't you? You look, he's embarrassed. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm a big fat slob. No, you're not, you're a big cutie. So you guys know, I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. I love making graphs. I love being a numbers geek. And at the moment, my body and the gym and weight and everything is something I'm like focusing on quite a bit. And I don't want to like ram on about it all the time, but I've sat here, I was like, you know what, let's make a graph. Well, let's do a graph. This is a part of my big main, like, like scheduled document I always use. So um, we're gonna take a look at it here. I decided just to do all the months in the beginning of the year, taking a weight from the first of the month, the middle of the month, counting how many gym sessions I did, how many back sessions, chest se sessions, and leg sessions. That's not quite as important. Just the number of times to go to a gym in the month is more important. Luckily, because obviously these dates are all in the past, I have this app which actually is linked to these electronic scales in our, our bathroom. I'll go and show you guys. So this actually has tracked my weight all the way since January. So even though I didn't take measurements and like write them down at the time, this app has saved them all. Hey guys, so this is the bathroom and this is the electronic scales I use. I'm not gonna use it right now because I've got clothes and shoes on to so be really inaccurate, so if you stand on it, it will give you your weight, your body fat percentage, and tons of information, and this will go straight back to the app. So hopefully through tracking, like my progress and everything, I can feel a little bit better about it, it's so easy. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and look at myself, I'm like, man, like, I'm making no progress, it sucks, I get really down about it. When I go to the gym, I'm like, no, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. But this way, if I keep track of all the numbers, like, I know for a fact if I'm doing good, if I'm not doing quite as well, if I'm eating right, if I'm not eating right. So just a way to make yourself feel good, which I'm actually gonna talk about a little bit more in a second, but I need to eat some lunch. So don't need to I've talked a few times in my vlogs and honestly like if, if I'm able to chat about something which I feel is important and can inspire or make, make somebody feel better in these vlogs and it affects either one, ten, a hundred, even more people, then I really want to do it. So I just want to talk very briefly about making yourself feel good, feeling happy and what to do when you don't feel quite as good. So just, just a little bit more personable for me, um, which normally I'm not very good at doing uh, in videos, but doing these vlogs has helped me open up a little bit. So as a YouTuber and having lived most of my adult life as a YouTuber making videos, a lot of how I feel feel and my emotions are based on how well my work or YouTube is going. So my videos are doing really well, I feel amazing, I'm so happy, I'm buzzing, I'm bouncing off the walls, listening to music and just having a great time. But if my videos are doing badly, I can get really low and feel really upset. Now, I struggle to look at myself and like feel good about my self image sometimes. Um, and I still look at myself in the mirror and don't know what to think sometimes. It's just like a, a weird thing. I think it's called like body dysmorphia or something. I don't know, that's not the point. Well the point is, is that when I start to feel down about YouTube stuff, I learned that I needed something else to fall back on. I needed to have more than just one thing in my life 
that made me happy and made me feel good because it was dangerous to only have one thing if that thing was going badly. So that's why I go to a gym and that's why I talk about a gym quite a lot. It's because it's something that I'm building up, it's something that only I can build up and if I'm feeling down, at least I'm like, oh, well I hit the gym today, I did a really good session, well done Ali, you can feel good about that. And obviously I'm trying to build up these things that I can feel good about and I feel like you guys should also do that as well. And I feel like if, if I'm in a position where I'm just sitting here making videos all day but I still can get down or still can feel bad about stuff sometimes, you guys will probably have it points in school or in your adult life and if you have something that you you know really love and enjoy and sometimes it goes badly and you struggle you get in a down place you need more things to feel good about yourself and I'm sure you guys are amazing at things or just do things that you really enjoy so I want to hear from you guys is leave a comment down below letting me know something that you're really really good at or brings you a lot of happiness it can be playing football with your mates it can be drawing it can be I don't know, playing a nice game of Cold with your friends, anything. I want to hear anything down below in the comment section. And remember, next time you're feeling down, remember what you're really good at, remember the things that make you happy, and that should bring your spirits back up, hopefully. So this is something a little bit different, something a little bit different. I was just thinking about it, and hopefully it makes you guys feel a little bit better. So spam those comment section. I want to see what you guys are good at, and I'll go through them, make yourself feel good. So I've just ended up finishing editing my Doom early multiplayer gameplay video for my main channel. This game is so much fun, and I've also got over here, as you can see, the beta downloading as well. So it's Take, honestly, the internet in the flat isn't amazing, but it's going to take a little while to download, but I cannot wait to play this on PS4. And on top of that, I said I've got some parcels and stuff, and I never showed you them. These bad boy packages right here are two huge packages I've yet to open. Got one crazy package here. Man, these things are huge. And then two crazy packages. I think these have literally been sent over from, like, China. This is nuts. Honestly guys, I think the, this could be my two, well, some of my two favourite, if not greatest packages I have ever received. Ollie is absolutely loving these, but let's take a look. Oh my freaking gosh. Over here, LG has sent over a 34 inch 21 by 9 monitor. So big that the image doesn't even fit on the box. That is the resolution you can see over, over there. 3440 by 1440. And then we've also got, whoa, wait, wait, they're both, holy cow, we've got a 34 inch inch monitor over here, same resolution with Thunderbolt port again. So this is a curved edition, whereas this is the flat edition. So I now have two more 21 by 9 monitors. You're probably thinking, wait, Ali, Ali, wait a second. Have you not already seen my setup? I already have one monitor, two monitors 21 by 9, three monitors 21 by 9. Like the, I can fit one there. That can change into a widescreen monitor. Am I going to have four widescreen monitors? I mean, do, do one of you guys want an extra widescreen monitor? Because I don't, I don't need four. Oh, look at these pictures on this side. So on this side, we get a better look. I really like the stand. This is awesome. So this is the flat widescreen monitor. This is the curved widescreen monitor. Honestly, I'm a huge, huge fan of the curved widescreen monitor, especially because you sit so close to them when you're editing on a PC. So I need to set these bad boys up, man. I need to game. You know, I need to game on these monitors and see what they're like. I told you guys, probably the greatest packages I've ever received. It's so awesome. Darcy is loving all of this bubble wrap. You're getting involved, aren't you? You're stealing all my bubble wrap. Look. Oh, you want to give it a go? <laughs> Look at him. They're always literally their favorite part of any boxes or any packages are like all of the rubbish and all of the cardboard that comes with it because they get to play with it. Honestly, guys, I mentioned this at the end of my Miami vlogs. If you haven't seen my Miami vlogs, go and watch them. But Hardwell on there, 209 is the greatest thing on earth. If you ever need, need a music set to listen to, listen to this guy's set. It is godly. So before we talk about this more and like give you guys example channels and things that I think work well on YouTube, when I sort of do that day in the work life valet, but I just have to say it like this guy smashes YouTube, okay? If you spend any time on YouTube or Spanish, you'll definitely know who El Rubis is. He came on the Miami trip with me. He's a Spanish YouTuber, really nice guy, but his sub count, 17 million. His views are so, like his view to sub ratio is fantastic. His thumbnails are amazing. His content I watch even though I don't understand Spanish. I wish I knew Spanish just so I could understand this guy's videos. If you ever need any inspiration for thumbnails or just what kind of random games you're playing, that guy is generally doing something new, something creative, 
and I have to give them a shout out. Well, it's been fun returning to daily vlogging here in the flat. I finished my Doom video for today. This is the thumbnail design I ended up going for. I, I couldn't work out if I should have my face or shouldn't have my face, but I think overall we're filling the space nicely. So hopefully you've enjoyed another video. I should be setting up those monitors maybe in a few days. I need to do a video on them and like game with them anyway. So it's gonna happen at some point in the near future. But if you enjoyed another daily vlog, give it a big that. Oh, I just said, just said daily vlog. I'm not a daily vlogger. That's a complete lie. If you enjoyed a vlog from today, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.